what's going on YouTube welcome to episode 53 of the let's build the USS Voyager tutorial I'm Zero Elite and I just want to thank you very much for tuning in today's episode if you haven't please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button helping me and supporting the channel I can't thank you enough for that today we're gonna to be picking up where we left off in episode 52 getting some more detail work done on our exterior so without further ado let's kick back relax and dive right into this Originally, this episode was supposed to be like 20 minutes, but I ended up cutting off the beginning of it because I didn't notice when I put the clip together that the beginning of that is something that we're just going to delete. So I just decided, I'm like, I'm not going to show it. But basically, just what we're doing today is that we're just focusing on detailing. Um, this is why I say the more reference photos you have, the better position you're going to be in to um, bring out um, these details in your ship and help bring it to life. I just kind of decided here that that circuit board panel needed to go into the hull. It didn't look all that great just sitting flat. Um, that's why sometimes I say you just got to throw something down and see how it looks to kind of just get a gauge um, on if it's working with what you got, you know, and sometimes you got to make little tweaks and changes here and there. Um, and I think we're just going to make it one row wider than what we had, just to bring it out a little bit more. And then the back row, we're going to move that forward as well. And we could try this with the half slabs. I don't know if this is going to work. Just try to cut the line, make it look not so drastic. My only issue with that is that that block, that cut, it's making the whole area look a little bit bigger than it needs to be. I don't know. Maybe we'll let that ride for a bit. But really happy with the detailing that we're getting along here, going along the bridge. She's looking great in that area. We need to add in more of the circuitry panels going along the very, very side of the saucer. We kind of added them in a little bit, but... One of the issues here, and you can see that I did it right here, and I'm going to pause it for a second. When you're building these ships to scale, um, one of the things that I do is that because I build my ships more or, less at, more or less at a half scale. So with your lines and what you're using the detail, um, believe it or not, these lines are going to help you to convey the, the ship's scale and proportion. So what I'm trying to get at here is that these uh, circuit board panels that we have here, if you look at the actual reference photos for Voyager, they're actually kind of big. So with having them just be one block, as opposed to two like we have here, this is actually making the ship look a little bit larger than how she should. So to help accommodate that and maybe try to bring the ship's uh, uh, appearance back to um, a scale proportion which she's supposed to be, we're going to go in and we're going to add in a second row to all those circuit board panels. On the Enterprise D, something like this would have worked perfectly just having one row because it, we want the Enterprise D to look as big as possible. But in Voyager's case, she's not a very big ship to begin with. Um, so that's just something to consider when you're working on these things, you know? But at the end of the day, if you like the single row on the circuit board panels, look, there's there's no Minecraft police or anything. Do what works for you. If that's what you want, you think that looks good, I say do it. And we're going to finish that off with half slabs just going along the lip. Um, I think that looks pretty good. We need to come in here in the middle and we need to adjust this now. All of our circuitry that we've added in. We need to adjust that. Now, one problem that we're going to have right here is that our circuitry, fattening it up, it's now going to be three instead of two. Now, that's something that we could do. Maybe try to cut it down with half slabs. We could even bring those up one and down one by just a half slab to see if that'll make it look any better. Um, 
but that I mean that's not looking terrible when you zoom out they don't really look that far off and I, I think the main thing to get out of this is that the circuit boards on the ship really they kind of need to stand out somebody's probably gonna say like well the blocks that you're using they're not too circuit boardy and it's like well you know I understand I'm not using any mods or anything we're just using texture packs and maybe uh, an RTX visual enhancement here or there but outside of that there's no mods th that I'm working with and I honestly I prefer to build this way because um, for one not everybody has access to mods and two um, everybody and their dad's sister on uh, that does these videos most of them use mods and um, I actually I prefer the challenge of it of trying to use for the most part what comes with the game with an exception of getting a texture pack here or there um, I don't know I, I just I enjoy the challenge of it but I think this is working out pretty good I'm happy enough to how this looks and so now we're going to clean up the rest of our circuit board panels fattening those up and just repeating the same process that we did on the right side just continue our main rule if we do one thing on one side and it's supposed to match that other side let's go ahead and knock that out right away while it's fresh in our minds um, I had to uh, put out a couple of teaser videos of the Excelsior 2 class Enterprise D uh, rebuild update and Enterprise A 2.0 um, super happy with the response I got out of that got a ton of likes and views and um, just a positive response as a whole uh, so just want to thank everybody for the success of those videos I took the time to watch them I had a ton of people actually asking me like hey are, are you going to be doing a tutorial for the Enterprise A 2.0 and the answer is yes uh, that tutorial is actually already done I'm just waiting for whenever we hit a thousand subscribers to drop it right now we're at 883 we have a little ways to go on that um, but I think that's doable uh, when you think about it because it's only 117 more subscribers to go I think it's possible we can definitely make it happen so now we're gonna be shifting gears back talking more about the build here now don't judge me I'm not gonna be I'm not one of those that I am an expert with everything Star Trek I don't know what every single bell and whistle on this ship is called um, I do plenty of research on this stuff and like yeah maybe I could do more here and there but at the end of the day like what we're like what for example that we're adding right now Voyager has like these orangish accents on the back end well towards the back ends of the saucer and um, it could very well be shield emitters if um, I'm wrong on that um, be sure to correct me in the comments section but uh, again I didn't do the research on that specific area beforehand that I built it really just trying to point out what we're working on here so um, one of the challenges that we're gonna have is that with this design that we have to go up into the actual hull so we have to pick a color that has a half slab um, luckily enough this block here will work pretty well it seems to match with what we're going for um, and we're just gonna gingerly cut into the hull now if you're not happy with the overall design of what I'm doing here um, my recommendation is make an extra save just mess with it until it comes out the way that you want it and if your uh, that save file um, gets to a point where it's just not working you could always just revert back to the previous one but uh, one of my other rules I was that I don't talk about nearly enough is look watch ahead before you start building because some of this stuff as I'm doing it um, may not necessarily make sense in some cases until you see how it looks finished if that's the case for you then yeah I'm gonna say don't just start building just yet if you need to see what this is gonna look like finished um, wait towards the end of the episode or you could even watch my tour episode where you see what this ship looks like finished but um, one of the things I try to do with my tutorials is I make a point that 
I record everything that I do. Um, the, the tiny, tiny repetitive things, I don't show that on the tutorials anymore because there's no need for it. Um, but uh, I, I still try to show my entire process because at the end of the day, explaining how to build these ships, um, it's not super easy. And, you know, sometimes I think I get a little bit too much flack for it with somebody where they have like a freaking BF moment because they can't figure something out and whatever. But um, I think it's just important to remember that if these tutorials were easy to do, everybody and their dad's sister would be doing them. Um, so just take that into consideration if you're having problems with the build. Drop a comment below. As long as you're cool about it and you're not mean, I will try to help you. But look, at the end of the day, the gust of this is is that you don't have to be doing what I'm doing here block for block. You really don't. I've learned this firsthand building the Enterprise D. Um, well, rebuilding her because I intentionally made a point when I went back the second time, I didn't copy everything that I did block for block and there are certain things where like if I didn't call them out I doubt people would even notice so what I took out of that is as long as you're following the main gusts of what I'm telling you to do here you're gonna be just fine now if this is a situation where you've never built a ship to this scale and you need more help then look the last thing you want to do is start off with a larger scale build trust me and I'm only saying that from experience because when I first started off in Minecraft, I started off building just large scale ships. And to be honest with you, I wish I hadn't. And I wish I had somebody that was nice enough to tell me like, hey, you should start off smaller so that this way you can learn how to build on a smaller scale ship. So this way, if you're making mistakes, it's a lot less of a costly experience to go back and make changes and you can learn and improve and then when you uh, grow your skill set you can move on to larger scale ships because even with a tutorial you have to have I think um, at least a willingness to uh, follow what's what's being shown in the tutorial and a basic understanding of building um, to kind of figure out what I'm doing here because with that being said I mean I try to explain all this stuff but um, I think uh, all in all, we're not doing a terrible job of getting into it. Um, I don't know. I, to be honest with you, I probably shouldn't even mention it because these days I really don't have too many people saying anything negative about my tutorials. I, it's really only every once in a blue moon at this point. And uh, for the most part, um, like 99%, I mean, I'll get pictures and videos on Discord and email of... Uh, builds that people have done of my tutorials and uh, it shows me that I'm definitely doing something right so that's definitely making me feel good but anyway uh, we shot through today's episode and uh, I think that's going to do it for us today we got a little bit of detailing done but we'll pick this up in the next episode but I just want to thank you all again for tuning in today's episode if you did enjoy this content help me out hit that like and subscribe button and helping me in supporting the channel believe it or not those likes comments views help my analytics on the channel they help the channel grow so if you could take the time to do that i greatly appreciate it um any builds you guys want to see me do be sure to drop a comment below um even if you're just dropping by to say hey or have any questions but i think that's going to do it for me i just want to thank you all again for tuning in today's episode and i hope everybody has a happy and safe week and of course what did you make in minecraft today let me know in the comments section post your photos in discord